Hi, everybody. I'm late. I'm late. I'm so sorry I'm late. Uh, I was at the post office, of all things. But anyway. Okay. So, Strong 2 Club then. Um, we talked yesterday about what kind of hand you would open two clubs on. And we're going to talk today about what Responder does after there's a two club opening bid. Now, I told you what I prefer is a bid called Two Diamonds Waiting. My idea is that ideally what we would like is for the strong two club bidder to be the person who is declarer. I mean, if it's possible to arrange that, that's the best thing to happen. So we would like them, declarer, to make the first kind of natural bid. Now, let me ask you a question. If you're a duplicate player, and even if you're a social bridge player, or a party bridge, we used to call it, contract bridge, whatever, if you have experience, you know that what we would prefer is to play with a major suit as trumps first, and if we can't play in a major, we prefer to play no trump, and our last choice is always minors. So knowing that responder and opener both have that focus, they both have the focus of majors first, then no trump, then minors. What's happened in modern conventions, you know, and, and things that people create, is we've used the minors a lot of times to be um, an artificial bid, to show something else about our hand or ask something, because we're unlikely to want to end up in that minor. So after the two club opening bid and two diamonds waiting, responders bid probably close to 95% of the time is going to be two diamonds. And two diamonds is just a waiting bid. It doesn't promise anything. It just denies a specific thing, two specific things. It denies that I hold a five-card major with two of the top three honors or a six-card minor with two of the top three honors. So you've opened two clubs. Tell me, I've got this big, strong hand, but I don't know what it, what it looks like. And I'm your responder. Basically, if I don't have something really special to tell you about, I'm going to bid two diamonds and wait and let you tell me about your hand next. Something special to talk about would be if I had a five-card major with two of the top three honors. So think about what that would mean. It would mean I have a trick, a trick and a half, two tricks maybe, that I could tell you about. And I have a suit that's a strong suit that I might want to tell you about. Or a six-card minor with two of the top three honors. So those would be the two things I might hold, a long, strong suit of my own, that might be worth me being declarer are going kind of out of my way to tell you about. If I have 10 or so points, well, I always can tell you about that later. If I have five spades, but they're not very good, eh, I can tell you about that later. So what will happen is the majority of your auctions, if you play two diamonds waiting, will start two clubs by your partner, strong, artificial, forcing, right? Big hand partner. Don't know what it looks like yet, but I've got a bunch of points or a really strong playing hand. I'm responder. I'm going to say two diamonds. I don't have anything special to tell you about. Tell me about your hand. And the majority of the time, opener is going to make one of three bids. They're going to either bid two hearts, just telling you I had a strong hand with hearts, or two spades, I had a strong hand with spades, or two no trump, I have a balanced hand with points, too many points to open to no trump. And those are the three types of hands that openers most likely to have. Now, why didn't I say three clubs or three diamonds? Why wouldn't he ever bid clubs or diamonds? Well, he might, but he's going to have like a six card suit, minor suit, and that 21 or 22 point hand if he goes out of his way to tell me about a minor suit. So what happens when you play two diamonds waiting is that after your partners open two clubs, you almost always end up bidding two diamonds, which doesn't say anything except I don't have 
a long, strong suit of my own to tell you about Opener. And then Opener gets to make the first natural bid. I don't know if you've ever heard the term wrong-siding a contract. Wrong-siding means that the wrong person ended up playing the handout, that it wasn't not wrong like bad, it, not wrong like um, they did something wrong, but wrong that it's worked out wrong, wrong for us. It was unfortunate. We wanted the other hand to be playing the handout because we always prefer the strong hand to play the hand and the lead to come around to them, right? Two Diamonds Waiting gives you the absolute best chance that the person with the strong hand is going to end up playing out the hand instead of Responder, who has a much weaker hand. And that's why I really like it. After the Two Diamond bid, then Opener makes their most natural bid. They tell you what kind of hand they held to open two clubs. Hearts and spades are both natural bids, saying I had a really good hand with long hearts or a really good hand with long spades, long being five or more. Two no trump, I have a balanced hand and uh, was too strong to open two no trump. Three clubs and three diamonds, both natural bids, usually six card suits, because if they only have five, they often bid no trump, but it does not promise six. And Responder must bid again. Even if you have zero points, partners now made their first natural bid, and you must take a second call. What you bid depends on whether or not you had a fit and how strong your hand is. And we're going to talk about those tomorrow. Okay? So think about that. Send me some questions if you've got it. I know I'm taking this in little bits and pieces, but this is the way I teach it. So there you go. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.